As promised, I'm going to show you how I adjust my valve lash and rockers, I guess. Uh, this is probably one of the most Google machine things on how to do, and it's, you know, talking to my friends and other people, probably one of the most intimidating things. And it's one of the reasons most people shy away from cam installations is adjusting valves. And I've been doing this since probably, well, yeah, my ever first ever vehicle was always just jam a cam in it. Don't worry about anything else. And I can promise you, I have tried every single imaginable way to adjust rocker arms that you've ever heard of. And this by far is the easiest way. There's only two things that my dad taught me, and both of them I do to this day, which is driving with your knee, with or without a cold beverage, and adjusting rocker arms. And if you knew my dad, you would know that anything that he teaches you is the easiest, fastest way humanly possible because we're trying to put in minimal amount of effort to get a result. So I've been doing it that way since, and I promise you it works very well. I'm going to show you how to do that. I've got the motor in here tight. Um, this is the easiest for me because you don't have to keep track of where you're at. You can walk away, come back. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to worry about the orientation. You don't have to worry about our young intake or the exhaust valve. You simply just adjust them. And I guarantee you it's going to be perfect. And it'll work on any hydraulic lifter, roller, flat tappet, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, you name it. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take my push rod, spin it with my finger. That one was actually tight. This one's still spinning. And I'm just gonna gently tighten this up until there's a little bit of tension. And as soon as I feel that tension, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna make sure that my socket isn't pressing down on the rocker. And I'm just gonna go until I get tension right there. This one's loose, keep going. I use a breaker bar because if I need to go backwards, I don't have to slide up here and Keep adjusting it. I could just go the opposite direction. It has nothing to do with how hard I'm turning it. And all we're trying to do is get this to zero lash. I'm not trying to adjust any preload or anything like that. We're just getting it to zero lash, which is when we're making contact in the uh, push rod bucket and the rocker arm here. And I'm going to go all the way around and do every single one of these, regardless of whether or not that is on the top of the cam lobe or the bottom, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's intake or exhaust. You can even jump over to the other side, you can go back and forth. It really doesn't matter. I mean, you could literally have your kid do this for you while you run in the fridge. Keep spinning them between your, just roll it between your fingers. Very simple. You could do it in the car. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you because it literally doesn't matter. I can come back to it. Um, I'm going to roll the motor. Okay. Let's just say I rolled it 90 degrees. Doesn't matter. I usually do 90 degrees at a time. So I just grabbed the harmonic balancer, I rolled it over 90 degrees. Now I'll come down the same ones that I did, and typically you go all the way around, and I'm going to check if any are loose. See how this one's tight, this one's tight, this one's okay, well, this one's loose again. So I'll come back in here, and I'm going to adjust this until it's tight again. Okay, just like before. Keep going. So this one must have been on top of a cam lobe and it dropped down. Right there. This one's good. This one's loose. Come back over here. Right there. Tight. Good. 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 I do the other side again. Right? I'm going to spin it. 
let's just say that's 90 degrees. It really doesn't matter. You can go 20, 30. I usually just do 90, 90, 90, 90. I'd come down these again. Tight, 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 tight. Good, good, good. Okay? I'm going to go about three revolutions, maybe four. When I think I'm done, then all I've got to do at that point, well, I got some high tech equipment here. All I've got to do at that point is I'm going to put my ratchet on my rocker and I'm going to go, I like to go three quarter turn. They'll listen to me, you do what you want to do, half, three quarter. But I go half, three quarter. Okay? If I'm looking at the engine, I can start at six o'clock, I can start at noon, half, three quarter. That is going to be your preload. You just go down every single one, okay? Three quarter, three quarter, three quarter, all the way across, and you're done. That's it. Throw it together and run it. Promise you it works great. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Obviously, I've started this side. I've got to finish this side. And we're finished.